These are people that if they don't like it here, they can leave. President Trump defending his tweets targeting four progressive Democrats of color. Today tweeting, these tweets were not racist. But you know who does think that? Avowed racist. And they love it. This from neo-Nazi Andrew Anglin, who runs one of the most clicked racist anti-Semitic websites. This is the kind of white nationalism we elected him for. A white nationalist podcaster simply parroted Trump's words with a picture of the four American congresswomen with the caption, send them back. White nationalist Patrick Casey tweeted in agreement that the four lawmakers simply do not belong in America, let alone in our government. What does the president think about support from these circles? It doesn't concern me because many people agree with me. Prominent white supremacists, neo-Nazis, and anti-Muslim bigots have fully embraced Donald Trump's recent tweets. The Anti-Defamation League's Joanna Mendelson says the president's words are also having an impact on American society as a whole. Essentially, it normalizes hate and it makes it acceptable and it lowers our bar, our tolerance for what is allowed in our country. And that is dangerous. But here's a twist. Hail Trump! Hail our people! Hail victory! White nationalist Richard Spencer, who hailed Trump when he was first elected, is among those who are turning on Trump. Many white nationalists will eat up this red meat that Donald Trump is throwing out there. I am not one of them. I recognize the con game that is going on. They say Trump is all talk and no action on maintaining white dominance in America. He gives us nothing outside of racist tweets. And by racist tweets, I mean tweets that are meaningless and cheap and express the kind of sentiments you might hear from your drunk uncle while he's watching Hannity. Yes, that was Richard Spencer, the man who championed the 2017 Unite the Right rally in Charlottesville, Virginia, who believes that whites should live separately from non-whites and Jewish people. Him calling the president's tweet outright racist. But to be clear, there are many white nationalists, supremacists, neo-Nazis, whatever racist group they adhere to, who believe that the president is still their best choice.